Hey everyone! Today I wanted to talk about Dark Island. Um, today, uh, my name is Braden Chase and this is this is my only video I'm going to post today. So this is for English hackers and this is also for the Easy Funnel system. And I wanted to um, talk today. Today's a little bit different. Today is Sunday and for me, many years ago, I, I kind of made a deal with God that this uh, Sundays are days when I don't work. So this, I, I still post on here and I do my Facebook lives and I talk to you guys, but I don't um, <clears throat> do uh, it, like any pitching. I'm not trying to sell anything. I don't, that's not the point of any of these things. The purpose of my Sunday posts is to share um, something that I find valuable, something that's not necessarily business, but could, you know, of course be applied to business or to learning or to English or to whatever. Um, but my, my purpose here is very much to share something that I find valuable with you guys. So today, um, I was at church, and I was listening, and we were, you know, having some meetings, some, some dis discussions about different things, and it was very uh, interesting, and I was kind of sitting there thinking, you know, the, the, there's a lot, there are a lot of problems in the world, right? We know this, there's lots of problems in the world, and um, we were talking about uh, different stresses that people have, and well, if we don't do this, then these are some of the consequences, and also, um, like in my own personal life with my son, Recently, he uh, he got caught and he stole a cell phone from another kid in his class. He's nine. Um, and it was really stressful for my wife and I because that's a big deal, right? I mean, it's like, it's a big deal. And um, we're like, well, what do we do about this? Like, what's what's the appropriate issue to go, okay, you're grounded, right? Here's your punishment and these different things. Let's talk about all these different things. And... Um, it was, we had several long discussions that we found out about this on Friday and all of these different problems and the stresses and the frustration that's going on with that and, and the problems that are, that exist here in the world. And one of the things that kind of came up over the past couple of days and particularly today was um, the importance of what you feel and what you have inside of your heart. And if you are open to the happy the joy, the faith, the hope, the positivity, the energy, the support, etc. Like all of these good things, do you allow those things into your heart? Or are you hard? Right? Do you have a hard heart? Are you angry? Are you critical? Are you vicious occasionally? Right? Are you um, sad? Are you depressed? Are you fearful? And it's that, that fearful, um, as I was talking with my son and going through these things, I realized that a lot of the things that he has come from this very kind of deep-rooted problem that he has with fear. He is terrified of other people. And he is terrified of a lot of different things. I don't want to get a psychological analysis of my son. But he's just afraid of so many things. And because of that fear, it makes him do things that otherwise he wouldn't ever do. And also makes him not do things that he probably should do, but he's too afraid. So he hides and he stays back and he doesn't do the things that he should do because he's too afraid. And so Dark Island, right? Where does Dark Island come in? Uh, tonight, as I'm, uh, I read to them, um, not every night, but I try. I try to read every night to them. Right now we're reading through the series of the Chronicles of Narnia. And we're in the book that is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. And inside of that, it, that story, right, they get on a boat and they basically just travel to a bunch of different islands. They're trying to find um, these different ancient Narnian lords, right, in the Chronicles of Narnia, and bring them back to Narnia, bring them back to safety. That's kind of the, the story that's going on. And um, at each island that they stop at, they find a different lord, a different person that they need to rescue and save or, or something, depending on the island. And each island has a particular symbol inside of the story. So there's, a, there's an island for greed, there's an island for pride, there's an island for this, an island for that, an island for fear. And that's what the Dark Island is. A dark Island is an island of fear. Now, if you've seen the movie Voyage of the Dawn Treader, no. Like, this focusing on the book, right? The book's way better. Anyway, whole, totally different world. But as I'm reading through this, I can see my son inside of this chapter. And I can see as the, 
the Narnian ship goes into the this dark island. There's this giant black mist, and they go in, and it's they don't know what's going on, and it's afraid, and they can't see very far, and the lights are dim and grimy, and they can't see, and what are we going to do? And oh no, dreams come true here? Oh, I love dreams. No, not those kinds of dreams. The nightmares come true here. Oh no, run away, right? It's a scary thing. And um, how it makes them so afraid that they run and they row and they try and escape and it's this it's this terrible fearful moment for this entire boat of hardened soldiers and they go i'm done run and and, well they run they sail right on their boat but they just run away right from this fear and what's really powerful inside of this chapter is that they talk about the cold, they talk about the stress, they talk about the sweat dripping from their brow and they don't know where to go because it's all dark. So are they sailing in the right direction or not? Are they gonna get out? There's no light, what are we gonna do? And no, we'll never get out. That's repeated like nine times throughout the chapter. We'll never escape, we'll never get out. And at one point, the, the light comes and they are able to escape and one of the Narnian lords who was trapped on that terrible dark island of fear goes to the king Caspian and he says, Don't ever, I ask you to grant me a boon, right? Give me a blessing, do something for me. And he says, whatever you want. He says, never take me back there. And they all turn and look and the dark island has disappeared and it's gone. Oh, I can't take you back there because back there doesn't exist anymore. And throughout this whole chapter, the same idea keeps coming up that we are afraid of things and fear is a terrible thing. But more often than not, we are afraid of things that are not even true, that are not even real. And that fear debilitates us and we cannot function, we cannot escape and we hide and we yell and we scream and we flail around and we don't accomplish the things that we want or need to accomplish, not because we can't do it, but because we're too afraid. The goal that we need is right there and we can achieve it, but we're too afraid and so we don't and we stay back and we're unable to do the thing that we need to do whether it's a business or a relationship or a family or a personal or a study or whatever it is, we can't do it because we are too afraid. The dark island, the darkness around us makes us feel and think. Our fear makes us think that there are terrible things in front of us. But if we can find the light, if we can find the positive people around us, the environment where we are encouraged and supported and driven and helped and loved and given that strength from the people around us because obviously we don't have it in ourselves. If we had it in ourselves, we wouldn't be afraid in the first place, right? We get it from the other people helping us. And I strongly believe right from God, that was a big intervention inside of the chapter as well, the light that comes from above that helped them get out and it can help us get out as well. Help us overcome that fear that will destroy us if we don't overcome it first. But once we overcome it, the island itself disappears. Oh, wow. What was I afraid of again? Oh, you know, nothing really bad happened. I just thought that it would happen. Anyway, it was a very powerful message for me, and it always has been. I've read this story a couple of times. And every time I get into Dark Island, I'm touched again by the the mental quandary that is fear. And how so often, most of the time, we are afraid of things that are not real, and that will not be real, and that many times cannot even be real. But they make us stop. And we don't take the steps forward that we should take because of that fear. And our lives are saddened, the lives of our families, and for the business people, right, the business falls apart or at least, or at very least is damaged because we cannot take that step forward into something that we're too afraid of doing. So if that's helpful for you guys, I, I hope it was. It's, I'm, I'm, I apologize if I'm not explaining it very well, but this has been 
an important feeling for me and an important thing, especially here on a Sunday, to remember the importance of what you feel. And if you feel that fear, take a minute and stop. Be like, okay, why am I so afraid? The fear is making me stop. I need to move forward. How do I move forward? What is it that's making me stop here? What am I afraid of? And figure that out. And you'll often find out that whatever it is you're afraid of isn't even real. (laughs) But you have to stop and cut through that fear to even see the light that's on the other side, the hope and the joy and the chances that are out there. So take those steps forward at every chance you have, break through that fear, overcome that fear always, because it will stop you unless you stop it. Okay? I hope that's helpful for you guys. If you like that, put a comment underneath. Um, If not, that's okay. I still wanted to share it with you guys. (laughs) Have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you guys another day. Bye.